yes, yes, yes. Let's just, yep. Uh, let's just, you know, just wanna, you know, hey. They call you a man, yeah, so you're right. <laughs> 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 what did I say? What did I say? Hawks in seven. Hey. Yeah. Hey. This is just game one, bro. Calm down. Hey, it was just game one in New York, and it was just game one in Philly. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. You do got a point. Yes, it was just game one, <laughs> and we know what happened from those past two series. Yep, uh, I have a very, very you know, um, good memory of what happened. Unfortunately, for one of them, uh, for me, but um, for Philly, yep, I remember what happened there. Hey, three straight rounds, three straight game ones. Three straight on the road victories in game ones for these Atlanta Hawks. What else can you say about this team? You know, you're gonna have to trade out that hat for Atlanta Hawks hat, huh? All right, let's slow down now. <laughs> slow down now. Hey, I'm just I just I just knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. I mean. Yes, it's only game one, but they just continue to impress. They continue to upset. People still down on them. How can people still down them after all that we've seen? That's why I jumped. That's why that's why I'm on the ship right now. I've seen this team come back and fight hard. I've seen this team blow out. I've seen this team play excellent defense, have great three-point shooters, have the coach, and boy, do they have the superstar. I said it, superstar. Because when you drop 48 and 11 in the Easter Conference Finals game, what does that make you? And make your free throws at the end. Not a slight to anybody. And make your free throws at the end. Giannis made his free throws too. Surprising. Yeah. <laughs> but when you do that, what else can you be? That may be right. Yeah. Just an average player. He's all right. Okay. <laughs> Sound like Philly fans. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, Trey Young, Trey Young, Trey Young. Yeah. S spectacular. Hey, man, look it. Let me tell you something, right? I I know this is absurd and this is crazy and I shouldn't be talking like this so early, but I was like, is this Hawks team really making to the finals and end up doing some crazy absurd stuff like winning the championship? Trey Young got to be a Hall of Famer after this season. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just like, it's just like, wait, what? I was like, wait. <laughs> I was just like, just imagine if that happened because like all the circumstances, all the situations, nobody's focusing on Trey Young and the Hawks going in going going deep into the playoffs and they just shocking the hell out of us each and every second each and every step of the way so it's just like could it get more crazier than this is there going to eventually be like a reality check moment for these guys or are we going to just say dang trey young is a hall of famer already <laughs> trey, trey young is unbelievable so unbelievably skilled so hard to guard because he's crafty, he can draw fouls easily. Um, his floater game is uh, absolutely crazy. His playmaking ability is insane. Mm -hmm. I mean, what 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 can you do? What can you do against him when he's when he has it going? Yeah, there's nothing you can do when he's attacking. There's nothing you can do. This is what gave the Knicks problems. This is what. Gave the uh, Sixers problems. I mean, he cuts to the basket after a screen and roll, and you have to either guard him, um, which it can get to easily get to a lob from Capella. Yeah. Or you have to stay on Capella, and he's got to knock down the floater almost every single time. Exactly. Nobody has found an answer. 
you know, the only answer, I mean, I mean, it was his three point shooting because for the past few uh, games, his three point shooting has been, you know, it's, it's been cold. It has, yeah, it's been inefficient. And it's been cold. I know, I know he's ice tray, but you ice cold from deep, niggas. Go in the paint, please. <laughs> I mean, late, exactly. late, late in the fourth, I was screaming because he he was just settling um late in that fourth quarter a little bit to me. Yeah. Up until the final when he got into the paint, which even though he missed, led to a Capella rebound and was of course the um go ahead um bucket for them. Yeah. But yeah, Trey. That's that was the only problem for me is that he was settling and in in the Sixer series he ha- he was not really good from deep yeah f- for the most part of those games and is continuing it, it, in this in this series it, which is crazy because this is a shooter that we're talking about this is a dude who's compared to the to be the next Stephen Curry and I know we talk about in other aspects. It shows you that there's not, the next sex, there's not a next step. There's not a next step. There's not a next step. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to tell you. I know y'all love to make comparisons to every player and everybody. If there is a closest thing to Steph Curry, yeah, it's Seth Curry. Then it's Trey Young. <laughs> I'm, yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. But, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You you got a point there, though. Like you know, even like a, for a dude whose strongest skill set is supposed to be his shooting, he has been in a. I'm not gonna say a slump, but he has been highly inefficient. And you know, I don't. I'm not an analytical person, but but, you know, and, and shooters are gonna shoot regardless. But he mm-hmm. has been horrendous from from three, especially. But one thing for sure, I could always say though. Even though he didn't do it this game and he attacked more, when you need him to come up with a basket from deep in the crucial moments, he will deliver. Yes. Yes. So all that inefficiency stuff goes out the window when he's hitting, when you look at the shot chart and you see those threes that he has made, they came in an important moment of the game where it was highly needed. Mm-hmm. I do not care about any of that. No, yeah, but you're right. Just, yeah, but just like what you said, though, he 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 um he eventually had to stop settling at some point, put his head down, get to the rim, make plays for others, and do it for himself. And that's what he did. That's what he did big time, especially with getting to the line because the the Bucks were in kind of a scramble a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that close game. They they were in a scramble, and um, I mean. Reason why I pick against this Bucks team is, I mean, what I say, Coach Mike, Coach, Coach, Coach Mike, yeah. Mike and Ike, Mike Boonholzer. My man, you had Brook Lopez sitting when Kevin Durant in Brooklyn series on a screen and roll, and Kevin Durant was killing you. Now Trey Young's not Kevin Durant. However. Trey Young is very skilled and he's going to do the same thing. And that's what he did in this game. You cannot have, and Bobby Porter's did it as well. You cannot have your big man sitting that far away from him. I mean, Trey Young is still going to get his. That's you just got to have to live with that because stars and superstars, sometimes you, you just can't stop them. They still got to get theirs, but you can try to limit them the best way you can and having a screen and roll in which your center is like 10 feet away from them 15 feet away from them that's that's not gonna work that was the same problem with kevin durant is that brooke lopez was playing too off and and he was out of position and um durant would hit it get a jump shot or get to his spot and um make the shot i mean it's the same situation but when you saw um, with the Brooklyn series, when he start having Brook Lopez come up a little bit more and trap him a little bit, it helped out a lot more. Of course, Kevin Durant still Kevin Durant, so he got his, but it wasn't as much as it was before. And you saw in this game, you saw that too, because for most of the game, Bobby Portis and Trey and Brook Lopez was just sitting and sitting and sitting, and then finally late, Mike Buda said, "Oh, why don't we just have Giannis play at the five? Yeah, Mike, 
It took you a while, but you figured it out. Now, yeah, Giannis playing five, and they prevented Trey Young a, a lot from going and attacking. So that's why it led to Trey Young settling, and he missed a lot of his three pointers. It took yeah it, him a while though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're you're right. And here's my thing, right? You you said something great. You said regardless of who it is, when you're a really good scorer, when you're when you're a good to great scorer, you're gonna get yours regardless. So like there's limit there could be limitations, but it's really hard for the score for scoring because that's what they know how to do. You just get a bucket with any kind of situation. So you talk about Katie, you talk about Trey Young. But yes, just like what you said, what they did to Trey Young was amazing. It was 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 a good thing on the on the Bucks end, because then you got him to settle. But when you but just like what you said with the coaching strategy, when they decide to change it up for no reason when there's no need to be changes, things like that happen. Or or he stopped settling. Well, yeah, yeah go on, he, go on. Stopped saying, he stopped suddenly, or they wait a little bit too late <laughs> because this change yeah. could have been made a lot sooner. Giannis playing at the five when he screen and roll switch. Giannis is a great defender. Obviously, Trey Young is just still will get his buckets on Giannis, but Giannis is a tremendous defender and he kind of prevent him from attacking. Also, he's great inside, so if he gets there, um, unless Trey Young's gonna draw a foul. Um, Giannis is going to be there, test the shot, and Trey Young's going to miss, which happened a few times in the game. Yeah. So it, you just keep, just keep to that strategy. Some, this is what I mean with, with Mike and Ike. He doesn't he does keep to the strategy. Um, also, I forgot to mention before um, that he sometimes wait too long to go to a strategy. And by that time, I mean – you, you could have had this game plan before. You could have made this adjustment quicker. Sometimes he's too slow to make adjustments. Sometimes he, does, he makes adjustments when there's no need to make an adjustment. This, then this is what I mean. That's why I got the Hawks in this series, because of that. Yeah. Well, man, it, it looks like I'm getting exposed more and more, huh, in terms of my picks and things like that, you know, because the the – I, I gotta give it up for Atlanta, man. They they did what what is always important to do when it's the postseason, and that is still the game on the road. You know what I mean? Yes. Still a game on the road. It give yourself momentum and opportunity. So even if you miss, lose the next game, hey, now you're back on your home floor, and you can see what goes from there in terms of how it could shift. And either way, you give yourself a breathing opportunity or a breathing room, rather than being down 0-2 going back home. Now you're tied the series up and you could potentially try to get some wins on a floor that you're really good at playing at, you know? Mm. And, yeah. Uh, look, let me say something. The way I look at this game, right, I looked at it as obviously it was more of an offensive battle. It became a little defensive, of course, towards the end because obviously it was a crucial um, down-to-the-wire moment in which, they need, in which they needed to. And I felt like the Bucks was playing more to like what the Hawks is commonly used to playing like their style in terms of offensive all the time. But then, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't, again, it was a scramble. I don't know what went wrong at that point, but the Bucks was just um, out of sorts. They had the lead and then the big shot by John Collins. Then mm, once again, shot. Trey Young. And it's just like, it, it, it's, it's, they they, they well, let this game get away from them. Well, Trey Young's missed, which led to Capella's uh, rebounding, yeah. which um, when I saw it again, yeah. was Giannis's fault completely. Because if you watch, Giannis then box out Clint. Clint got right by him because Giannis was paying attention. Yeah, I know nobody boxes out in today's league now, but you got to box out. The best of the best got to box out. This is no situation. You got to box out. If Giannis boxes Clint Pella out, he's in better position. He gets the rebound. And they stay up by one. I mean, that that, that, was, that, that was a mistake. Yeah. Um, But that get two out of him of that because him and Drew Holiday killed for the Bucks all all this game. Drew Holiday had yeah. a hot hand. No question. And they was giving the Hawks a little bit of uh, the taste of their own medicine. 
with their pick and roll action, how they and Giannis. I mean, it was screen and roll, Giannis cut yeah. lob. Screen and roll, Giannis cut lob. <laughs> Especially late game. And also, well, um, yeah, I'm uh, not going to finish, finish, finish. I was, I was going to say that Mike Budenholzer's um, um, call uh, plays out of timeouts were great because they had back the, um, twice yeah. where he had to play coming from the timeout and they scored on. So I see those little, you know, yeah. instances where yeah, they man, can be yeah. great, but yeah. <laughs> I, I I understand what you're saying, but it, it, it's crazy where because look at you you bring up the connect the Giannis to uh, the Drew to Giannis connection right, but what was the whole purpose of them bringing in Drew Holiday for anyway? The whole purpose of bringing in Drew Holiday is for them to be more better in that half court game in that half court situation, helping out Giannis. You know what I mean? And it, it showed right there. I think the uh, if Buddha holds it just like what you said, Buddha holds it because stick with a better strategy and whatsoever and just keep going with it. Like, you know, like that's a good strategy right there. Pick and roll with Giannis and Drew. That, 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 that's easy buckets whenever the defense collapses, right? Like, you know, it, it just, or I mean, not collapse, but like, you know, they get out of hand and they now they have to find a way to get back. But that's that. That's how it is, and that's how Drew and Giannis are supposed to be playing, in my, in my opinion. That's how they're supposed to be working with Giannis. Anybody they need to help out Giannis, and that's how it should be. But and again, the Hawks individually, outside of Clip Capella, they're not that great defensively. So I understand why they can't individually like, you know, stop them individually. Team wise, they're good. Individually, different. I could see why they can't stop that pick and roll, of course, because then you got just like what you talk about. It, it, it's it's a it's a it's a game at that point. It's in two ways that you could go. You can either give up the pass to Giannis, obviously get it, or Drew Holiday can score on his own bucket. Mm -hmm. So it it, it it leaves it at bay. But again, too many changes for this Bucks team, man. Too many changes from the coaching standpoint that messed mm -hmm. them up. Yep, but I mean they, they had a good chance because of yeah Giannis and Holiday. Um, that screen and roll was deadly because Holiday was scoring at will. I mean he was getting to a spot. Um, the Hawks had no answer for him. Like, Holiday was hot all game. Yeah, majority of part. I mean Giannis, of course, is very incredibly hard to stop Giannis. Yeah. Um, so you know he was gonna get his, and they both played great. Um, Middleton, where were you? Uh. They're they're missing you, brother. Uh, they needed you. You you, you can't be having games like this. It's kind of finals. You got to show up. Hey man, you you be saying it sometimes. Chris with a K is a dangerous thing, in both good and bad ways. I think I think. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. Um. Also, another thing that killed this Bucks team. Um, one three point shooting, atrocious, terrible. Like I said, so, uh, like I said before, sometimes they get inconsistent with their threes. Sometimes they play, they 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 go um just cold from deep. I mean, they eight for thirty six in this game. I mean, yeah. come on, come on. And then not only that, also, um, grabbing defensive defensive rebounds late in the game. John Collins three, that was also for um two offensive yeah. rebounds for the Hawks. Um, yeah. obviously the go ahead bucket by Capella was a offensive rebound from Capella. Yeah, I mean, and Clint Capella had nineteen boards. John Collins had fifteen boards, and they both played great. Um, in this yeah. game, I mean, one had four re off um offensive rebounds, another had five. That that that, that also. Help kill the Bucks in this game. So I mean, as credit to John Collins and Kick Capella because they played great all game. But Bucks, you got to get your rebounds, got to shoot better, and I want to see Giannis playing at the five for more of the rest of this uh, series. Yeah. All right, and then to disagree on you. There's nothing to disagree on you with that. Yeah. So um, Mike and Nikes. 
you can make some adjustments, brother. Um, but however, it was Trey Young's unbelievable performance, 48, 7, and 11, and the Hawks' great team play and effort to help get this win, steal game one in Milwaukee, like they have done in the past two series, and making the Milwaukee snapping the Milwaukee Bucks undefeated home streak in these playoffs. Can you say ATL and seven? I believe in them. I believe in them. <sighs> That's crazy. The Hawks, the Hawks can really make it to the players before the Brooklyn Nets ever do. In the finals? I mean, to the to the NBA finals. Yeah, the finals. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Trey Young, he's sensational. Crossing up holiday and they shimmy you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, lobbing it off. Yep. Hold on, speaking of that, did you see the lobs to Capella? I mean, Capella Collins. Wow, uh, I, 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 I think I missed that play. While he was rolling, and he's he's like he's going for a layup, and he just throws it off the glass from that angle, and Collins just catches it and slams it. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Yeah. He's he's a he's a special talent. Twenty two years old, by the way. Just Amen. <laughs> Amen. That 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 is their connection anyway, so it doesn't really matter. No, you got to see that love. You got to see that love. But after the game, like I said, Hawks take the one zero series lead against the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, but all right. Um, some news going around the NBA. Seems like the Boston Celtics. Found their coach. Have you heard the news? Yeah, I have heard the news. I just know who don't know who is in a part of that. Well, I can tell you one thing. Maybe we should get Ethan that cable. We might find out. Um, the head coach, the new head coach of the Boston Celtics is Brooklyn Nets assistant, Ime Utica. I think that's how you say it. Um, I'm not familiar with him. Um, I don't think anybody really is. But Boston seemed to have saw something in him. Brad Stevens seemed yeah. to have saw something in him. Yeah, cause I was just about to say, like, I, I don't know who, who – like I, like, I just said, I don't know if you heard it, but just like I just said – I heard the news, but I don't know who is that in the part of the news. So, like, mm -hmm. you know, I was kind of iffy on it. I was like, I was like, I don't know who that is. So I can't really say much, really. I just gotta say good luck to him and hope that the well, they're gonna the Celtics are gonna be fine. But let's see how he coaches up his team. What is fine? Playoff purgatory. You know what playoff purgatory is? They just get to the playoffs and and then they don't really do anything after that. Is that that boss Celtics? Oh, it's so that fine. Hey, 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 man, that, 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 is historical, that is a historical franchise you're talking about, but hey, you probably are right. They are in play of purgatory. I mean, they made the Eastern Conference Finals, what, three out of four years? And yeah, uh, I mean, maybe one of them I had, they could probably won, but. Two of them, they, I don't think they had any chance, in my opinion. The, the series against Miami, I didn't have them winning, and they embarrassed me in that one. Yeah. Even, even though I didn't have them winning, they still embarrassed me with the way they were playing. Um, <laughs> series against yeah. the Cavs with Kyrie and LeBron, didn't have them winning. Um, and then rookie Tatum against LeBron, um, was Cavs. I didn't have them winning that either, but they surprised the hell out of me. That was good. Yeah, and that was their best yeah. chance. Actually, and it's crazy. Yeah, that was their best chance for real, for real. I was like, yo. I was like, well, LeBron got by, is by, well, that's the reason why you should never bet against LeBron because LeBron by himself is, is a deadly man. But that's Eastern Conference, right? They, they, they would never have the audacity to say that about Western Conference. But hey, the world may never know. But looking hey, at, I'm looking yeah. at the team that sent him home, so. 
There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah. Um. Good luck, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that's really all we can say. I, I mean, there was a lot of other coaches I would have liked to seen as Boston Celtics coach, but can't criticize him. I haven't seen anything from him. So, um, yeah. Good luck to good luck to him, Boston Celtics head coach. We'll see what he can do next year. Yeah, look at all I gotta say is all he has to do is be better than the Pacers coach that they replaced Nate McMillan with. That's all I gotta say. Just be better than that coach. But all right. Um, did you see the other news? The other basketball news, not related to NBA or college. No. Uh, is it a high school thing? Jesus Christ. We are talking Team USA. Oh. They got the twelve man roster for the Tokyo Olympics. Would you like to hear the roster? Yes, sir. Give it to me. All right. These will be the players playing for Team USA in these Olympics in the summer. Kevin Durant, Damian Lillard, and honestly, I could just stop right there. <laughs> That's really all you needed. <laughs> but however, it is loaded. for the sake of it, let's, let's keep piling it on. Bradley Beal, Jason Tatum, Draymond Green, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton. Hope it's not game one, East Coast Finals Middleton. Um, Jeremy Grant, Devin Booker, Zach Levine, Kevin Love, and Bam Adebayo. Yeah. Yeah, all you need to do is stop there with those two players because uh, uh, you know, those are some really great talent that you just named right then and there, you know. But huh. yeah. compared to others, man, uh, like I heard, I, heard, I heard better rosters before, but uh, this is a really good roster. That is a really good roster, but that's going to show you the talent that we have um, in terms of yeah. American um, basketball, American players, American athletes. I mean, there's, there's yeah. no Kawhi. There's no PG, there's no Anthony Davis, there's no LeBron, there's no Steph Curry, there's no Kyrie, there's no James Harden, and yet this team yeah. still is stacked. Silver medal calling their name. Oh, man, they, they got to win. Oh, come on, man. Like uh, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Tatum, Dame, KD, I mean, and then you got Draymond who could do everything. Yeah. I mean, and then yeah, you got, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Exactly. You, you got you, you at Team USA, Kevin Love. Like, come <laughs> on. That team, Team yeah. USA, Kevin Love is different. No, yeah, yeah. You're not lying. You're not lying. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see hey, what this, this, be this team can do. I'm excited to see what this team can do. Yeah. Probably meet Luca no somewhere question. or something. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will play, play for the Slovenian basketball team. Uh, but, uh, but all right, we'll see. Um, we won't cover it, but it's just a fun thing that I want to go over in terms of Team USA. Yeah. But all right, that is all the news for last night or yesterday. So let's get into predictions for tonight's game. It is game three of the Western Conference Finals. The Phoenix Suns, well, ESPN, 9 o'clock. The Phoenix Suns, after taking a 2-0 lead, go to the Staples Center to battle the Los Angeles Clippers, who I've been here before, down 0-2, back-to-back series, and most notably won both series. That's why they're here today. No Kawhi, once again, will Chris Paul be playing? I am not aware. I don't think so, but um, nonetheless, what do you have? Well, uh, I don't remember how many games I had this series going into. I forgot. I think seven. I could be wrong. But 
you already know. I got I, I got to choose the Clippers. It's time for them to get back their vengeance. You know, they're down two. Um, they're down o two. You know what I mean? I did have the Suns winning both of those home game games on their floor. Obviously, but now it's time for the Clippers to come and show what they got. You know what I mean? PG has been playing amazing. This whole Clippers team is in sync. We see their true potential all out on display. Ty Lu is a really good coach. He's a strategic coach. He knows how to make good strategies on the fly. And now it just they they even though they didn't get what they wanted in that game too, even though they nearly came close. Now it's time for them to just take it on their floor. Let's see yep. what happens. I agree. Uh, let's see if they can stop an eight and lob. But yes, I got the Clippers in game three as well, getting their win back, trying to save their season because we all know what happens if you go down 0 3. Thank you. Thank you. Not one bit. But all right. Time to wrap things up, Ja. Um, final thoughts, final thoughts. No, uh uh-uh. uh, no final thoughts. Well, I got one. Go. On. Hawks in seven. <laughs> Again, you got to trade in that half for a Hawks hat, huh? I'm not doing that. Come on. <laughs> show some respect. Show some respect. It's not the year. Maybe like hey, next man. year. But... Hey, man, look at. Hey, man, look at. No team has ever made New York that quiet a day in their life. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> what team? Indiana just hyped, um, hyped them up more. They just, they just hyped them up more. They, they had that dog in. Yeah. And plays the Hawks. Listen, the Hawks did not make us quiet. Okay. We were still. We were okay, still. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Trey Young made y'all quiet. My bad. Trey Young didn't make us quiet. Maybe in game one. Well, listen. You know, Knicks fans, we we still cheering for them at the end of the game five. You know, we lost, you know, we was clapping for them because it was a successful season. Um, I can't say the same for Philly fans because <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trey Young didn't quiet them down either <laughs> because uh, Philly fans still talking. <laughs> yeah. They still talking. I'm not going to say what they're saying, but they, they talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. No, we know what they're saying. So we, we, we don't have to go over it. They we saying. We don't have to go over it. We do not have to go over it. We do not have to go over it. Come on. Hey, leave, leave, leave that man be. Leave that man be. That man be. All right, all right, all right. My bad. Yeah, let's not, let's okay, not go bye over bye, doc. with it. Okay, we could talk about him. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That all out the way. That being said, time to end this. So, thank you guys for watching today's podcast. Make sure you tune into tomorrow's podcast. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. Sports channel, give us feedback, all that good stuff. And also, watch our. I'm mean, gonna watch. <laughs> Follow our IG and our TikTok down in the description below. Yes, whenever we choose to upload. And once again, I'm Evan. I'm Ja. And this was the Mind of Basketball podcast. Conference finals edition. <gasps> Conference finals playoff edition.